EA Sports coverage of the world of golf brings us to the place where it all began. They've been playing golf here since the 15th century on the old course at St. Andrews. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner. And Frank, here we are at the old lady, the old course at St. Andrews. And this golf course has confounded so many through the centuries. What are a couple of keys to being successful here? Well, if you're a recreational player and you're struggling a bit, then you play to the middle of the golf course. But if you really want to challenge the great course, then the best line around the whole golf course is down the right. And that's actually where the trouble is. So if you can hug the right side, because remember, there's so many double greens here and they have a central bunker. So if you're coming from the right side of the golf course, there's always a better avenue to every single flag you're attacking. Trying to get the round off to a good start. Frank, we're at the second hole, and what's ahead? Well, the ideal tee shot, just uh, a little over that gorse bush in front of you, which is down the right side. That's the best angle in, but it also brings in a little bit of trouble. But um, if that pin is anywhere towards the middle of this double green, then really you want to be coming in from the right side. Next here at St. Andrews, the 370 yard par four third. Best to drive it left, left center to avoid a cluster of bunkers down the right side of the fairway. The real challenge comes on the approach with cart gate bunker coming into play. Fourth hole now, and Frank, this one looks as though it might require a little bit of club selection off the tee. What are we looking at, partner? Well, there is two ways to play the fourth off the tee. You can hit it down the right side, but it really starts to narrow up, and it's slightly shorter. Most players go towards the middle of the golf course and try and get it on that plateau. But um, this, certainly the first hard hole you see at St. Andrews. We come now to the fifth, the first par five on the front side here at St. Andrews, 514 yard hole that ends at a green that is 100 yards deep. Avoid the seven sisters bunkers off the tee and reaching into is a possibility if the weather cooperates. You gotta love the names of the bunkers here, don't you? They tell you all you need to know. Those coffin bunkers, you hit it in there, you're dead. Heading now to the 359 yard par 47. Accuracy off the tee is critical. Best line is a little left of the flag on the 11th green. Biggest issue here is avoiding the shell bunker short of the putting surface. Standing on the tee at the par 3 8 here at the old course. And Frank, what are we looking at here? One of the biggest greens on the golf course. Um, it looks flat. It looks like it's easy. But once that flag gets on the left side, this one, the hole becomes a little bit more difficult. It's very easy to take this hole for granted. Um, very hard to hit it close, though. We finish our front nine here at St. Andrews with the drivable 347 yard par 4 nine. Biggest trouble here are Bose's and end hole bunkers. 
be in the middle of the fairway. Avoid those and birdie or even eagle is a possibility. Starting off the backside here at St. Andrews with the 340 yard par 4 tent named in honor of the great Bobby Jones 1927 Open champion and 1930 amateur champion right center off the tee ideal for the fairway narrows around 280 yards but the green is drivable. Hole number 11, the Eden, is really the finest medium length one shotter in all of golf, isn't it, Frank? Well, this hole's been copied uh, by many an architect. The reason why is it's normally very, very difficult to make a hole of this length, or should I say this short, so difficult. But uh, they've managed to do that here at Eden with that Strath bunker in the front and the severe sloping on either side of that bunker. Boy, that can really be brutal, can it? It certainly does. And. Um, if you have any doubt there, it'll you'll come unstuck at 11. Frank, how do you like the 12th hole here at St. Andrews? Well, it's a beautiful par four. You start to see the uh, the village of St. Andrews in the background, Eden Estuary to the right, and also decision time. If you're long enough, it's certainly worth having a crack at this par four with your tee shot. But if you're not a long hitter, then you've really got to worry about those four beautifully and well strategic uh, positioned bunkers in the middle of the fairway. Frank, how about the bunkers here at 13? A, a rather ominous sounding name. Yeah, the coffins, and uh, they are that for a reason. If you finish up in there, well, the best you'll probably ever do is make a bogey, unless you're an absolute genius. Uh, that will be avoided, certainly off the tee. If you do, it's still a difficult hole. The second shot, unless you had a perfect tee shot, will be blind. for a par. You know, of course, is old when instead of white out-of-bounds sticks, they have an out-of-bounds wall, and that's on the right. So most players are taking it down that left side, that landing area, and this again, how you know, of course, is old. It has all these wonderful little names. It's known as the Elysian Fields. Back here at the 15th, and Frank, this fairway narrows up in a hurry. And it's also, uh, it, there's a big crop of heather that sort of constrains you if you're going to hit it just straight down the middle. Only the brave go down the right side, um, brings in those little bunkers called robs, and uh, they'll rob your scorecard, that's for sure. Famous for the principal nose, and I can't help but think that this is fourth grade. Well, I don't know how didn't like us. I don't know how Mrs. Hartman would have played this all, but uh, she would have been wary of the out of bounds on the right, and that's why the, uh, the, the general consensus is: is you uh, not only avoid the principal's nose, but you hit the tee shot a, a little bit further left. It might lengthen the hole, but it is certainly uh, the more prudent strategy. Now at the 17th tee, and Frank, this is really when you begin to feel the weight, the history, the old course bearing down on you. And you also feel the nerves as well, because you're having to hit it not just at a fairway or over a bush, but over the corner of an out of bounds. And uh, you'll see it, there's a little sign up there that says Old Course and Country Club. So you've got to pick the exact letter for the line that you want to hit it across. Hit it down the right side, this hole certainly becomes shorter. Left, you find the left and short, you find the road, the road hole bunker. Uh, a little right and long, and well, there's a chance of going out of bounds or on the road itself. 
Frank, this is really one of the coolest spots in the whole sport. When you tee off at 18, it's as if the entire town of St. Andrews is peering in and looking at you. Yeah, you've started by the by the town at the little starters box, and then you've sort of gone all the way out, and now you're all the way on the back end, and and it's and it's almost like your job's been uh, completed. But um, really, in the game of golf, you just started.